Hello YouTube, it's Mike here, Transforming Toy Box. Hello more specifically, Optibotamus, aka Paul. You mind if I call you Paul? Can I call you Paul? Do you mind? I don't know. Anyways, I thought I'd do a vlog here. First vlog that I've done so far. And um, you talked about wanting a dialogue, and I figured what better for a dialogue than an additional monologue via video response. So, here we go about your Dark of the Moon movie review. And first of all, may I say, 42 minutes. Nicely done, sir. That's got to be an endurance test. 42-minute video, man. I was impressed. Really, you kept my attention throughout the whole thing. Not an easy task. Anyways, I just thought I'd, I'd throw a little back about Dark of the Moon, how I felt about the vi the, the movie, the video. Yeah, like Dark of the Moon's a video on YouTube. That'd be crazy. Anyways, uh, Dark of the Moon. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh, I've seen some reviews that were positive for it, some that were negative for it, and some that didn't really know where they were. Honestly, I'm going to go lean more towards the positive because, let's face it, I'm a Transformers fan first. Uh, you put, I'm going to say, you put Transformers on... Uh, a bucket of peanut butter, and I'll say that's the best peanut butter ever. <laughs> but hey, I've, I've been a Transformers fan for as long as I can remember. And the movies, I like the movies, definitely. Obviously I like the movies, set in no prime right here. Which leads me to a little point that I want to mention. Um, I'm not getting paid to say this or anything, but I, if I were you, and you wanted to see the movie again, and you want to see the movie again, or you wanted to see it once at all, in theaters, go out to Toys R Us, buy yourself, I think it's $25 in Transformers merchandise. I don't know. Point is, at Toys R Us right here, at least in the States... You can get a leader class transformer. They're taking ten dollars off the the retail price. Um, I'd go with this little guy right here, Sentinel Prime. Great transformer. Um, not going to review him because I don't feel like it. But back to the thing. You can get ten dollars off for one of these, and you will actually for the the purchase of them get a free movie ticket. Uh, free matinee-style movie ticket to go and see Transformers. Um, if you go to the one that costs more at night or whatever like that, I don't know exactly how these movie things work. But if you go and see the movie and it costs more than $8.50, well, you just get an $8.50 credit to see the movie. Point is, buy one of these, get a discount on the movie. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. In fact, I might... I might just buy another couple of Transformers so I can go see the movie again. I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Combine my Transformer collecting with seeing the movie twice. I don't see why not. Do you? <laughs> anyways, anyways, I like the movie a lot. I really did enjoy it. Uh, there were some great elements that went on. I was disappointed that Ironhide was the one they killed. I think that Sentinel, this guy, old Leonard Nimoy, crazy Spock, could have gone ahead and uh, killed the twins instead if Michael Bay had sort of left that in there, killed off the twins, maybe not Ironhide. I understand how it was necessary for it to be done, but uh, still. Ironhide. Since 84, 80, 86, since 86, Ironhide... Always going to be dying, man. Well, maybe not always. But the two Ironhides I've ever cared about, dead. G1 Ironhide, dead. Now movie Ironhide, one of the very cool characters, dead. Uh, but, you know, I mean, again, I can see why it was done. Overall, liked the movie a lot. Um, of course, this, this of course, uh, contains spoilers. And I'll put that in the title, saying it does contain spoilers. Uh, just because the video response to a video that only contains a few spoilers. Paul, Paul, you didn't completely spoil the movie for me, no. No, um, I, I still think that there's one or two surprises left. No, man. I'm just, I'm just, just jerking your chain, man. 
Still, great review. Um, I thought, overall, the movie did a great job with its references to the Generation 1 series, and I caught a lot of them. Um, the episode you're looking for, you probably already found it, but the episode was a three-part episode called The Ultimate Doom. I just watched it recently. I have the VHS tape of it. Uh, yeah, the VHS. <laughs> I still have VHS tapes. Uh, you know, they're, they're something else. But the ultimate doom where Megatron turns humans into slaves and takes Cybertron and pulls it in closer. There was one plot hole you didn't quite mention there, Paul. And that was with Cybertron being a giant gravitational source of energy that close to Earth, nothing really happened. You'll remember in the Ultimate Doom, of course, uh, tidal waves, earthquakes, all kinds of crazy shit just going... <laughs> destroy everything. Of course, they had to have the Dinobots come in and help save stuff and create blood barriers and everything and all of that stuff. It was awesome. The show was awesome. It was based on... The movie was awesome, and I want to point out one thing, one thing huge. I remember this from, from Wasp Shot 23. I'm not entirely sure if I've got your name right, but uh, I subscribed to him recently. Great guy. I would check out his videos if I were you. Uh, he said this that was very important that I want to bring up. Whether you like the Transformers franchise up for the movies or not, you have to admit one thing. Without those movies, you don't have the classic stuff that all the G1ers are loving. You don't have the masterpiece stuff. You don't have all of the special exclusives and all of the, the money that's gone into the bot cons and the metro cons and all of these conventions that have made all these G1ers and these alleged purists so happy. The movie does create money for the rest of the series. And you need that in order to expand. So whether you like the movies, whether you hate the movies, you have to acknowledge the fact that they serve a valuable role in, like you said, Paul, breathing life back into the Transformers franchise. Hopefully we'll see more. Hopefully we'll see more of the Transformers movies. Uh, whether we do or not, uh, time will tell, but I think we will, because these have proven to be rather big money makers, and damn it all, it does make the world go around. Anyways, uh, just to sort of conclude everything, I'd say great movie. I've tried not to put too many spoilers in here, because I don't want to repeat what you said. That, that doesn't make sense. Uh... But I really enjoyed it. I would highly recommend going to see the movie. I'd highly recommend going to see all three of them. Because, again, they are now, whether you like it or not, and I know you like it, Paul, but I know if someone else is watching this, whether they like it or not, they are part of the Transformers franchise now. They're just as much a part as G1 was. They're just as much a part as Beast Wars was. And remember, if you watched the Energon Trilogy, that's part of it, too. It's all part of it, guys. Let's just think of that. It's all part of the universe. Maybe not your favorite part, but it exists, it generated money for the rest of it, and it allowed good things to happen. And I think that's one of those good things, right there, this guy. So, if you're in the States, uh, go to Toys R Us, buy a big old Transformer, get a free movie ticket, and go watch this movie again. Because I think I'm going to go do that probably this weekend. Alright, uh, well that's been my video response. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, Paul. Uh, if you didn't, I don't know. <laughs> I just did it to do it. So, I hope you all have a good one, and we'll catch you out there.